All right, yes, live on Blaze Radio with DJ Travis and I'm with Javon and Dre from the Black Boys Council. Say hi. My name is Dre. My name is Javon. They call me Younger Smith. How do you think the BBC will benefit you two individually? Well, it's helping us as mentally and physically in in terms of our behaviour and okay. how we speak to other people. All right, what's your opinion on it, Dre? Um, my opinion is is I think it's it's making us. But slowly is making us have um, learn to respect and yeah, just to focus and everything. You're right. Yeah, this is Young Ref on Blaze Radio. We got some special guests right here, John, Jean Mark, and Renel. Yo, yo. Okay, yeah. So who runs the BBC? Mr. Carber and Mr. Ward, and Donya from Aces, and also we help run BBC because. Without us, I don't think BBC would be BBC without students. What is the BBC? It's the Black Boys Council, uh, where all the black boys come together. Alright, so what's your opinions on it like? Do you lot, do you lot like what you do there, or what is it like? It will show us that um, we don't all have to live up to the known black stereotype. Yeah, we think it's very... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it makes us confident, like it brings up our self-esteem. Like what, re- what we're really trying to do is just trying to get rid of the name that black people are really only good so for you're just, stealing. You're basically, you're trying not to follow stereotypes. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. I like that. I like that. So, how do you think it will benefit you? Lot? I think that it will benefit me by like, cause sometimes in class I yeah. misbehave. So, come mm. to this, um, come to this BBC Black Boys Council. It will fix up my behaviour and teach me how to behave in class. Alright, so how do you think it will benefit you, Michael? Me? Really? Same thing as him. Yeah, things haven't been too good lately, but I think it's been changing a lot. Grades haven't been improving, getting more friendly with the teachers. You know, things are turning around and I hope for a better future. For me, BBC is the way. BBC is the Black Boys Council, but other than that, BBC is the way that more of us tell us black people that we can do something in our lives not just end up on the street so yeah that's BBC for me and like uh, to stop the stereotype okay what about you Reno? yeah BBC is like a way to uh, get jobs and stop the, ter- the stereotype okay what is the stereotype of a young black boy in Brent? F- for me the stereotype of a young black boy in Brent. this boy grows up but then he ends up on the road either a drug dealer he's in jail or maybe some motivation, he's doing something with his life. Okay, what about you, Renal? Uh, for me, the stereotype is the boy starts young, he's okay, then as he goes up, he gets he gets distracted and uh, he gets, what's it called? He'll go to jail and do drugs and be a bad boy and stuff like that. What's your opinions on it, Javon? That is helping us to do what we really want to do and is and uh, it benefits everyone that's it benefits everyone that's like around us and um, it helps us too okay how does the um bbc benefit you or BBC, the bbc members bbc ben- benefits me because i live in chokill and in chokill there's like lots of drug dealers and stuff so the bbc motivates me to keep myself off that track and motivates me to be a good human being and do something positive in my life what about you Renaud? It motivates me to uh, believe what I have to believe what I believe, uh, believe in. Uh, fight for it, no matter what anyone uh, says or tries to do to try and make me stop uh, believing what I believe in. It won't. It won't stop. Even if you're young and you're not as great as other people and you're not as well behaved as other people, you can still make up to what you want to be in the future. What issues do a young black boy have in school? For me. To any of you. I'd be suspended. And most of the time I feel like my teachers are racist. But now that I reach ESN, I realise my teachers are not my teachers are not racist. It's just me trying to find the excuse to not do work. So yeah. What about you, you know? Yeah, what was the question again? Um, what issues do young black boys have in school? Yeah, they usually uh, get stereotyped and sometimes maybe picked on or uh, popular because of their colour and they just uh, go and do bad stuff and cause a lot of drama. And that's that's usually the problem. What about in class? In, in my class. There's a lot of people who try to uphold their registration, their reputation, like they be bad, they talk a lot, they don't do their homework and stuff like that. I know me saying they don't do their homework sounds like something, like something a little kid would say, but really and truly, homework helps you achieve a better grade. You see what I'm saying? 
What about you, Renault? And in my class, uh, they, they, they try to hold a reputation and they're, they're with a the, uh, bad group and, yeah, they think uh, violence is a good thing. I'm not saying violence is a good thing, but I'm saying if you are get, if you are getting trouble in school and no one's really helping you, then you might say matters at your own hand. Mm. Yeah, uh, violence is only good when done in self-defence, not when you just want to pick on someone because of the size or something. What about you, Zach? Uh, um, the black stereotype is... There's like several black stereotypes. There's the one, the hood boy living in an estate, trying to um, live up to hustling and all sorts. But then we don't all have to live up to this. Uh, um, I heard that everyone in the BBC went to a trip to KPMG. How was that trip? That was really good, you know. A lot of uh, re- um, I met a lot of people who didn't really get that many good GCSEs, but they managed to get a good future. Well. Most of them could have gotten even better. They know they could. They regret it most of the times. A lot of um, influential speakers, they like spoke to all of us. We did workshops. We got to visit the buildings. And it's really successful, run by black people. And yeah, it's good though. So do you lot get like individual time to speak to the people or do you all sit as a group in one class? At the first part, we were... Um, all together in a group then we got to split up and speak to other people like how we thought and so I, I like that so um how did the BBC affect you like afterwards like what did you do from before that changed afterwards just because of the BBC I used to be a troublemaker in class but now I've fixed up yeah uh, focusing on in lessons I want to become successful and do good in my life Okay, what about you, Michael? Me, well, it flew, influenced me a lot. Like, kind of came out my shell, expressed myself to a lot of the people, because most times I'm kind of shy and don't like to say a lot, but them coming, like, kind of influenced me to be... So they boosted your come confidence? Out the, yeah, come out uh, my box. KBMG, yeah, it was a good trip. It, it gave me a lot of motivation, hearing some of the people talk about their upbringing and how their parents raised them and the GCSEs that they got. So it shows us that, it tells us that um, don't let a grade determine your fate. Um, you can go out there and you can achieve what you want to achieve.